Yo, 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 what it do, Croc fam? It's your boy, man, and I'm back with another one. Man, back with some more of that precious cargo. And man, before we start, I want to say, man, it's the first day of Croctober, y'all. So you already know that it's finna go down, man. Be on the lookout for all the updates because, man, it's finna be a lot of uh, good updates on collabs. It's finna be a lot of good updates on gibbets. You know what I'm saying? We got so many collabs coming. Like I did the short on the Outcast collab earlier. Man, it's finna be a whole lot of this, a whole lot of that. And then, of course, the late heat coming with a new style. All that gonna happen. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen starting uh, this month, man, because y'all already know how Crocs do for the Croctober. I also got a little sneak peek of what the Croctober joints look like for this year. I can't drop that with y'all yet. I don't want to get in trouble, y'all. But, man, them joints is going to be smashed. I'm talking about, man, it's going to be... It's going to be, man, it's going to be something serious, man. Just stay updated with your boy, man. I'm telling you, you want to put that alert. I never told y'all this before. Drop the alert bell thing and all that. But, man, I'm telling you, you're going to want to put the notification on for your boy, man. I'm telling you, because this month... It's finna be real crucial. And man, this pair right here, man, speaking of Croctober, you already see your boy got the orange on. Speaking of, you know what I'm saying? These babies right chill. They came right on time because they do got orange on them. So they represent, you already know, the good old Halloween month. You know what I'm saying? The black and the orange. That's when it come out, you dig. So you already know, man, this one right here finna be a banger. I already like what I'm seeing so far. If you don't know what we're talking about right now, you finna know that these babies right chill. These are them Chewbacca fur lines. And not only is these the Chewbacca fur lines, these right here is them part twos. Know what I'm saying? Them 2023 mommies. You feel me? Know what I'm saying? Look at them. Look at them jibbers on there. Look at them gibbets on there. Wookie! You see that detailing right there with that how? You got the fur on the lines you did. Chewbacca on the scrap. See the bottoms? And uh, I think this color right here, uh, this color right here was uh, espresso. You know what I'm saying? This color was espresso. I ain't gonna lie, I'ma go ahead and espresso. I'm feeling these joints, you dig? Go ahead and express it right now to you. These babies right here is super official and man, I ain't gonna even cap with you. I got the Wookiees part one, you dig? So when I seen these, I was just like, I'ma go ahead and grab them for the collecto or whatever. But man, now having these babies in the hand, I can tell you the details on these is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? The details on these, they kind of similar to the first ones with the little belt around the hook right there like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they do got the belt feature on the first ones. It's not right here, but it's kind of similar to that. You know what I'm saying? As far as the looks. And I see they kind of went, you know what I'm saying? How the first ones, the first ones had platinum buttons on them. And y'all already know, man, if you haven't seen the review on the first ones, you can check that out. But y'all know, I'm going to show y'all the first ones. We're going to compare and contrast and whatnot. But you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm just pointing out the similarities right now. Both of them is a, a fur line. You know what I'm saying? The first ones was a, a croc band a fur line. And uh, man, it's a crazy thing. Like let's talk. Let's talk history. Y'all already know we gotta dive in first. Chewbacca. Like I said, we've been talking about the first one so far, and the first pair of Chewbacca's was the Croc Band fur line joints, right? They came out August of 2015. So what was that? Eight, nine years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's when Crocs was coming with the green and white labels. You know what I'm saying? They was all green with the white label on the back. Real classic, real vintage type stuff, you dig? And then eight years later, almost nine years later, because we at the end of the year, they come with the part twos, and they come with the part twos, you know what I'm saying, in the classic fur line joints. And, man, I really like, uh, lately, Crocs been going with classic this, classic that. And uh, it's a beautiful thing because we can't forget, I know a lot of us, we real echo heads and uh, we real terrain heads. 
But we can't forget that Crocs started with the classic look. So anytime they get like just a company or a big company, you know what I'm saying, that don't really customize in their designs or whatever, anytime you get a big company like that with Crocs, nine times out of 10, it's going to be a classic clog. You know what I'm saying? Because Crocs, after years, you know what I'm saying, of being out, they still want to push that classic clog. You see the classic clog is still one of the top sellers today because they want to push that that brand you know what i'm saying that's where they started from it's too like when you start off with something that rise you up to the tip you know what i'm saying you know you keep that in your archives and you still push that uh that brand or whatever or what have you maybe because it got you where you uh got to and then that's basically what i feel like uh crocs do with the classics you know what i'm saying when they get them certain brands that's really not hell bent on the design of the shoe they just want to partner up and collab so most of the time you will see it on a classic clog you know what i'm saying via the uh outcast that came out earlier i seen somebody said they wanted to see them on uh some uh terrans or whatever they came on classics because i'm pretty sure outcast didn't sit in the lab with them was like man we want to do um echoes and we want to do all terrains or whatever that was just like man we want to collab with crocs and that's what happened or however that conversation went they collabed up and i'm pretty sure they wasn't thinking about detail and whatnot of shoe they left that with the creators of crocs but man these babies right here is a piece of work a work of art man and the the jib is on these is live and i really love the espresso vibe on them know what i'm saying the espresso vibe it's just on a whole nother level. It's on a whole different plateau. You know what I'm saying? That brown, it just do something to me. And especially when we talking Wookie, you know what I'm saying? Chewbacca, you see the jibbit on the, you see the color on him. So the shoe just makes sense on where they went with it. Like the whole little scheme of it, everything about it. And then of course the jibbits, you know what I'm saying? The jibbits is super duper fresh. And I like that they added the orange jibbit on there. Kind of give it that Halloween type vibe, you know what I'm saying? And then I gotta let y'all see the close up on these boys right here. Cause these boys right here is a piece of work, a work of art. Like I said, it came right on time. Halloween coming around, you know, everybody dressing up, everybody doing what they do. And these boys came through. You feel me? Gotta put that flash on, let y'all see what's real. You see what's going down. Your boy on co pilot, you dig? And that boy right there kind of got like a holographic 3D type vibe going on with it. You see what it is. Roar! Come on, man. And then, like I say, the biggest takeaway for me on this one was the uh, how. You see that how on there is real official. Like that how on there is just like detailed down to the T. And I like that they didn't use the vinyl on that how they kind of went a little more in depth. So it looked like it will last if you do take care of them boys real good. And you see that espresso on the bottom of them boys. Like don't buy it. See that espresso? And that belt going across. That belt official. And they should have went with platinum buttons again. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, since we're looking at these right here, let's go ahead and get the 2015 joints on the scene, you did. Because y'all know I'm always going to pull them out for y'all so y'all can see what's real, man. And these right here is the 2015 Croc Band joints. You see what it is, man. You see that belt around that sole and that belt is detailed. And what they basically did with these was they went with that platinum finish. On here, they kind of went with more of a gray tone. They should have went with that platinum finish right here, like these boys right here. And, man, I got these boys brand new with the receipt in the box. You know what I'm saying? I think I got these probably like three years ago, something like that. But, man, I had got them brand spanky new, and they still brand spanky new. I haven't worn yet. You see these on these right here, they got the platinum button. I know you see that platinum shining out there. You see what it is. You know what's going on. And man, it's crazy because I seen a couple of these in the smaller sizes. Like on uh what was that? Like on eBay, I think on Mercury too, that was still brand new. 
Man, if you can get these boys right here brand new, I'm telling you, you got to have these in the archives as well because, man, these is throwback. These is vintage. These is timeless. You feel me? And I don't even need no gibbets for these. You see that furry fur up in there right there? Like some chinchilla? You see that though? All right, they getting too much camera time. Them boys are too dope. Them boys are too dope. Man, we talking about y'all right now. And no, 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 you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to y'all. Y'all holding y'all weight as well. You know what I'm saying? I like the guts on that. I like how that, that peanut butter is sitting on the inside right there. And then you go with the espresso crock stitching right there, like talking about it. I'm really digging that. So these right here, them new babies, eight years later, nine years later, they still holding their weight. So we not going to flex on them like that. These people still came through. They still did the work. And I'm just happy that it's a part two. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like I say, when Christ give you that part two action, you know you locked in with them. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. Look at the Chewbacca on the scrap. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's going down. It's going down. Yes, sir. These babies is a fish. Man, dog, these boys. I ain't gonna lie. And they uh I got these right here off of the croc site. You know, I had to get a cutie pie for these boys. They still on the croc site. If you want these right here, you can look at your boy link in the description and grab these, man. I wanna know like who all been shopping on my link still. Like, man, y'all still showing the kid love. Like I say, shopping on my link is the same thing as shopping on the croc site, but it's just under my profile. So it's senior boy credit or whatever. So I always put the links in the description to send you directly to the shoes that we're talking about. So, man, anybody that's just shopping on a regular croc site, you know what I'm saying? You could always shop through your boy's site, you know what I'm saying? And the coupons and everything still work the same and all that. But man, these babies right here is a piece of work. And I ain't going to even front to you. I'm going to go ahead and get these boys a solid 12 out of 10 just because I like how the follow-up was. I think on them um, classic babies, I don't know, we might have had did like somewhere between 15 and 20 just because that classical vibe, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't outdo the classical vibes, you know what I'm saying? But they followed up pretty nice. These boys right here is pretty neat. And man, your boy ready to get these boys on the feet, man. Let's go and get them on foot. Come through in them good old Wookiees on chill. You feel me? Yes, sir, man. It's the first day of crop toba, and it started off with some of that mail. And them Wookiees then came in, man. We got some crop mail coming up. I think I got like maybe like three or four more pairs. I don't remember what I got coming, but I know, man, we finna be dialing in this month. I'm pretty sure, like I said earlier. Crocs gonna be dropping at work. So we finna be working. You feel me? We finna have a lot to talk about, man. We're gonna have to most definitely pick up overtime all the time we can get. So we'll be able to buy these Crocs, man, because holiday season is coming around as well. And these people know exactly what they're doing right now, trying to dig in people's pockets, man. Trying to come heavy in the pockets. So, man, I already know I'm going to have to work extra hard. Put some of them croc dollars off to the side. Because, man, if they going to be coming with heat like this, you know what I'm saying? They going to get me every time. And y'all see what's going on. Like I say, my biggest takeaway with these is the hair. You know what I'm saying? They got the hair details running through and out the shoe. Them jibbers is cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with the jibbers. The jibbers is cool. I like that Chewbacca on there, and I like that belt. That belt is on a whole different level. It ain't the platinum belt, it's the gray one, but, man, it is on a whole different level. Not only that, but when you got them in hand, you can actually feel, like, that hard plastic-like type vibe, you know what I'm saying, going on on the uh, belt. So it do kind of give it, like, some type of realistic feel to it, which I like. It's not a, a foam. It's more like a hard, like, plastic like this. That's real vibey right there. I'm really rocking with that the long way. And as far as sizing go, it's kind of crazy with the fur lines, like, for real. Like, especially the classic ones. Because me, 
since I'm a half size, y'all know like in my size 12s, since I'm coming from like 11 and a half in shoes, I always have like a quarter inch to a half an inch space, which for me, that's my true to size. Because like I say, man, Crocs is slides to me still. So I do like to have that playroom. Like that's what my true to size is. So anytime I say I got a quarter to a half an inch space, that's my true to size, which is whatever your true to size is in that particular size that we're talking about if I get a 12, you know what I'm saying? So with these and the fur lines, I got other fur lines like these as well, classic fur lines. I think in all the classic fur lines that I got, I have gotten a size 12, you know what I'm saying? Because for some reason when I tried the 13s, me being in like a half size, the 13s was just like too big, you know what I'm saying? And with these size 12s, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? They just right. And I don't have a half an inch space. I don't really think I have a quarter inch space. I probably have like a little under a quarter inch space. And I think I'm cool with that because for me, like having a half size is either too, too big or it's right, it's right on the snub. And I think for me, I'm just going to have to suck it up when it comes to the fur line joints and just be right on the snub opposed to being too big because I don't like... Uh, being too, too big over a half an inch, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a half an inch is the furthest that I would go as far as just having that loose space. So that's why I say with these right here, I just bite it to the chin on these. So I would say like with the half size people, I would say you good going uh, true to size, whatever your true size is. And for the full size folk, I would say you can go up a size, you know what I'm saying? If you want that little extra space, to play with it will be okay to go up a size with these just because you know we talking extra fur on the inside and uh man another winter pair coming through like another winter pair coming through we've been we've been stocking up the winter gear I, it's just crazy like the winter gear i feel like the winter gear is out doing out doing all the summer activity and everything else that came on and i'm just looking at what i got right now in the archives and I'm still looking at like the forever joints that I only wore one pair of last year. You could still consider them being in the fold for the winter. There's a lot of winter gear that I'm going to have to pull out this year. You know what I'm saying? They've been coming real heavy with the boots. And then like you see right now, they coming with the classic fur lines. And then these babies right here is a piece of work, a work of art. And then y'all see what's going on. Come back with the Wolf Gaze on Sports Mode. And you know what's going down, man. We done already chopped it up, chimed in on these boys right here. Man, these is the part twos. You know what I'm saying? If you was watching the video and you just not paying attention, we at the part twos, you feel me? Like I said, man, the first installments came out eight years ago, nine years ago. You know what I'm saying? 2015-ish. Back in August, you feel me? That's when the first ones came out, and those was the Croc Band Fur Lines. Eight, nine years later, Croc's still doing their thing, and they doing it at the highest height right now. Croc's been the hardest shoe brand in the game right now. Do not argue with me about that, please. Croc's been the hardest shoe company in the game right now. They come back with the Wookiees. Eight, nine years later in the part twos, you know what I'm saying? With the classical vibe because the classic is what put them people in the money. So they got to continue to cater to the classics, you did. And then they came through in a major way, you know what I'm saying? The follow-up was pretty nice. Something that I can dig, you dig. Might have to come through with these boys sometime this month for the good old Halloween and in between. You dig me? Man, the two Baca points, man. Who rocking with them? Once again, man, I want to know, like, who all came through with that good old Chewbacca part two? You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen what was going on with the first installment. This right here is the second installment. You know what I'm saying? Mess around and get a third installment. No telling how this thing go. We'll see how they holding. We'll see how it be. You feel me? But I just want to know, like, what we doing with these right here? Talk to me. Let me know what's going down. The Wookiees! Jill!